What's up, lady? Hey, how are you? I'm good, darling. I'm just waking up from a nap. My ass, we working so hard. I've been up since 430. So what's the some hearing a young lady <laughs> about, yeah. booty, about booty? Oh, you want to remake the booty and the titties? Oh, no, stomach. I got nice boobs. <laughs> okay, so you want to do what again now? Okay, so... I mean, you know, I'm, the reason I'm calling because I know you're super real with me. But mm-hmm. my conflict is deciding whether or not to get plastic surgery, which is basically butt enhancement and a tongue suck. Okay. All right. So now why do you think you need that? Well, I mean, um, considering the surgery because I've been through a lot. <laughs> I've given mm-hmm. so much of myself in the past. And now I'm divorced. I have children. I'm doing well financially. Um, I mean, I'm just working on myself overall, you know. Okay. Um, yeah, so I want to, like, I need it. I feel like this is not something that squats can just do or the gym can do. I've lost weight up and down before, you know. Um, and it, I think it will help my confidence in dating life. Okay, all um, right. I'm, I'm trying to be like a like a more well-rounded woman. I travel, I go on dates occasionally, Mm -hmm. but I believe my body image is what's keeping me from, like, a real quality relationship. So it's either, like, my body image or it's my self-confidence or both. Okay. Now, but let's let's, let's start one. Let's start start with the mind first. Are you petty? Are you thoughtful? All those things. Because what (laughs) people forget is that you can change your body and I'm not saying no to it yet or yes. I'm saying you could do all these okay. things, but if you're not mentally thoughtful, mentally caring, um, right. it, it doesn't help because you could be sabotaging your own self. Like, that's why we have to talk for a minute. And I, I just, as we talk, I can, I'll be able to know what kind of person you are. Already you sound intelligent, which is good. Okay. You know, so that's important. You know, how many kids do you have? Mm-hmm. Three. Now, do they all live with you? Yeah. So my oldest yeah, is 13, and I have two uh-huh. boys, eight and six. All right. So it's not your body that's keeping the kids away. It's your kids <laughs> that's keeping the niggas away, babe. I, I, I believe and that, too. Yeah. And let me say to you why. It's not a bad thing. It's not mm-hmm. a great thing. But yeah. before you go spend thousand dollars on booty hands, whatever you think that it'll help you get a man, it's your responsibilities that mm-hmm. holding the guy back. Because the men that you're meeting probably have their own children, right? Or the men that mm-hmm. you're meeting don't want the responsibility. Even though you'll say, "I can take care of kids myself," a real man knows that if he dates the one with the children, with children, that's mm-hmm. his responsibility too. Right. No matter how you slice it, he knows that. If not, he's a bum. He comes in, he doesn't mm-hmm. help you, he's a bum. Oh, he got to go, right. <laughs> right, then he got, and that's exactly what yeah. you're going to say. Oh, this motherfucker don't help out, blah, 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 he got to go. So right. it's a catch-22. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's a catch-22. Yeah, because so, I can't have a man that, 
if I can't call on you for something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And there's a lot of women who date, but I gotta ask another mm-hmm. nigga for help. That's life, right? That's that's how it is mm-hmm. sometimes. Everybody want to be in a relationship, but they are in relationships with people that can't do nothing for, them, et cetera. And that's why I was saying in my shows, in my podcast, that people should be qualified to date. Mm-hmm. And you gotta have a certain amount of money to date right. because a woman wants to go out. Sometimes a woman needs um, help. And vice versa, mm-hmm. the man sometimes should be able to depend on the female. If he has his money right, he has his money right, guess what? He doesn't really need the female. But if he dates a woman that got her stuff together, if they go out to dinner, she could pay for the meal without complaining. If they want to go on right. a trip, she could pay for a trip this one time and without complaining. He got one. You know, they, they, you go back and forth, you know. Mm-hmm. But your situation is not the enhancement of the booty. Now you can you can <laughs> you can enhance the booty and that's the that's gonna make more men chase you, but then you're gonna see more disappointment. Right. I'm just you're right, because I think like I don't have a problem getting dates. I think it's more so uh, I mean Hell yeah. I seen your picture you track all the time like it. If I was so busy I'd try to holler at you. You know, but as soon as you said you got three yeah. kids, and my mom, I'm like, oh, man, I got time for this Hell. I got I to gotta be, be a leader. You know, yeah. I got to come in the house and say hello to the kids. And at that age, you know, mm. you got to take them to the football game, yeah, the basketball game. Right? Yeah. I gotta bring, and I'm a real nigga. I got to bring gifts. And I got to ask you their shoe size. So yeah. I'm traveling. I got to send the kids sneakers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just a, see, so like, women have to, then, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. Huh. No, I was just saying, so that's the issue, huh? Cause, I mean, you know, I knew you would tell me, but a lot of guys, you know, when I go on these dates or whatever, oh, I don't have no problem with kids. Oh, I love kids. They all say that, that shit. I, they all lying because, you know, what they really want, you know. Yeah. If they, if they can't get nothing but, else. <laughs> yeah, you got to, but you got to have the, you got to have. See, in a situation like this, you want to have the upper hand. And let me turn to what I mean. When a man approaches you and you meet him and you, you look at him and, like, he got his, all his teeth, he got a nice haircut, clean fingers, drive a decent car, he works hard, you got to want to fuck him, right? And not stay in touch with him and make him chase you. You got to use reverse psychology. So you got to fuck him, and then if, um, if he doesn't call you, cool. But if he calls you, you don't return his phone call. He's like, well, why you didn't call me? He's like, oh, I was busy, blah, blah, blah. You got to go that way. I do that. I, I do that. Like, my block list is so long. But, but you know what? It's because No, not block him, just not return the call. Block <laughs> means, yeah, block means I'm never talking to you again. Because, yeah, I, yeah, because I'm leaving them out. I feel like I'm leaving them out. Like, if it's, if it's poor quality or if I see, like, red flags and he asking me to pay his phone bill, I'm like, what? Oh, no, you can't what do that. Here? No, no, you know, no, you, you can't know, do like, that. There's so many bums out here. Where are the, qu- I don't know. I feel like I'm being almost unrealistic to want a quality man with the circumstances that I, you know what I mean, with the hand that I have. Well, you gotta go. You gotta go. You, know. you gotta go play. You gotta go pick from a different environment. See, mm-hmm. the reason why men and a lot of women lose is because the places that you go, right. it's mostly bums there than people who are successful, right? True. Exactly. So you got to change. I think that's true because I feel like I'm trying to move my social status, you know, and and it's, I see myself transitioning. But it's a it's a it's gradual, <laughs> you know. You go from mm-hmm. clubs to wine bars, and you know, and it's like, oh, this is. I just I just what area? What state you in? I'm in Michigan, so I'm in Southfield. I'm yeah, okay, so that's exactly where you are, right? You know, I used to live in West Bloomfield. Yeah. You got Detroit, nice guys. Oh yeah, Detroit. I'm right there. Yeah, nice mm-hmm. guys in Detroit. You know, they're hustling. Everybody got babies. And 99% of most guys, they are players. 
That's mm-hmm. the Michigan with the Southfield, yeah. all all that is the um, players' capital of the world. Mm-hmm. You know, because I remember growing up in Michigan, <laughs> it was you know the, the hoes used to call they, the guys used to call the girls out there sack chasing. That was the term mm-hmm. back in the day in the eighties. So I mean, yeah, and I and I feel like I'm just not that girl. Like I want to, um, I almost like wish I could just go into like a permanent hope phase and just forget these traditional want to be in a relationship values. You know, I go in and out of these hope phases, but my God, if I could just like eliminate the desire for companionship, you know, and all of that other other stuff, <laughs> I feel like I'd be a little bit better off. But I can't. Like, like who I am. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with one that. You just got to go to another state <laughs> or go a little further out. So where, what is a good state? Because when I get my master's, which I'm working on now, uh-huh. I'm going to have to move. Where's a good place to go? Well, it's not that, darling. You, it's, it's so much to that. You don't want to move because of a man. I, I have a situation, I call this, I call it being reborn. Watch what I'm telling you. Reborn is you really can't find, you are really not going to find the relationship that you really want until your last child is out of your damn house. Good God. Yep. I call it being reborn, and then you got to go back to whole status. Remember when you was young, before you had your three kids, how you were slightly a hoe, in a sense? He was dating. He was having fun. Oh yeah, after I got divorced, I was a. a, a <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't have no problems going into right. because I feel so, like it's necessary. Yeah, so that's why. So what you got to do until your last kid is out the house, you got to work out. So yes, get the okay. get the the button hands and stuff, but you want to invest in you. You want to take care of your hair, your skin, your teeth. You want to work out. You want to take yoga because you want to invest in you because you're going to be a great catch. You see, you're a great catch now, and most of the women in the world are great catches. It's just that no one is giving it to them the way I'm telling you. And you got to wait till the last kid is gone for you to have the type of success in the relationship that you want. You, it's the, that's the way it's going to happen because men don't want to feel pressure or responsible. And then, two, you also want to find a man that got his own shit. You know, right. like you can find a guy now, right? But you want somebody to come pick you up, take you to his house, and fuck, fuck right. you at his house, yeah. right? And then bring you back early in the morning right. for the kids, and the kids calling, Mommy, where you at? You know, are you, are you a Steve? Oh, okay, when well, you coming right. home tonight? And then you checking the motherfucker. Don't be asking me where the fuck I'm coming home. <laughs> Did you take the trash out, motherfucker? Don't be asking me that about Steve. They want permission to slip money in. Right. Because right. right. I remember when uh, I remember when I was young, my dad died when I was young, and my mom started okay. dating, right? So um, we gave my mom, but my mom was a G. My mom hmm. mined me and my brothers up and checked us so hard about her new companion. Like, she checked Ooh. the nigga about her dick. Like, nigga, your dad's dead. <laughs> I, I, I damn one of you motherfuckers fuck up my dick. But my hmm. mom had bad choices in men as well as most women in the world. Mm-hmm. See, my mom started letting the guy come in and stay in the house. And that's oh why I used to God. always, when I see women and they date in the bum-ass nigga, I used to call a nigga like that Ernie. Like, oh, you got an Ernie. Okay. Because Ernie <laughs> <laughs> was a bum-ass nigga living in your house, eating up all the sandwiches, yes. the steaks, the, the, the white castles. And shit. Yeah, and, it was like, and you couldn't yeah. say nothing because you're a youngster. But as a man now, you look back. I look back. That was mom's dick. You couldn't fuck with mom's dick because women, no matter how you slice it, like dick too. And uh, and most of the time, bomb niggas come with good dick. 
Yeah, that is that what, true. <laughs> yeah, it's just unfortunate <laughs> that, that um and the like, good one think... like I the last guy I was with, he only lasted like two minutes. I'm like, you gotta go. And you're broke, wow. like I can't do both. You we have right. to get the struggle here. You know what I right. mean? Like I can't mm-hmm. Tolerate a whole lot. Like I'm like my time is already limited. We don't have. But you think about now. Think about you now. Just look what you just said. He was mm-hmm. broke and he can, he yeah. came in two minutes. So already your choice yeah. right there was fucked up because one you should Scary. definitely make sure right. he had a few dollars. Well, yeah, it's the facade, like. Um, you know, he's driving this escalator, he's doing, you know, he, he has this facade, and then it takes me a minute, and I'm, like, peeling back the layers, like, wait So a when you That's say, okay, so if he had an escalator, did he bad. have his own, if he had an escalator, did he have his own house, own apartment? He had his own apartment, but later, you know, it's like later I find out whose name it is then, or, you know what I mean? Like, I have to do some digging. Right. A lot of times, my issue is, I'm trying to take people at face value, and that's right. not really who they are, you know. And, and then the facade starts starts wearing off, and then I'm and then that's when I I'm like, oh no, nah, push on the brake. You gotta go. I can't I right. can't deal with it. You know, I'm not I'm not being I'm not lying to you about who I am. You know, I'm trying to put my all my cards on the table. You should do the same. And, and, and know, most of the authentic or the genuineness. I, I can't yeah. deal with that. Most men lie. I have no idea why. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. I mean, it's not like we're not gonna. We're, it's not like we're not gonna find out. That's what I don't understand. Why? Right. Why? I don't get it, hun. I really don't know why a lot of men lie. And, and fellas who are listening to this, you don't have to lie. Cause sooner or later, like you said, hun, y'all gonna find out. Right? But if and I, people, and I would, I would tell them like if you tell me up front, like I at least give me the decision to deal with whatever you're presenting. But if I find out through your baby mama, through the grapevine, through oh this male, why does this male have somebody else's name on it? You know, I'm like, mm-hmm. what else are you lying about? I can't even fuck you then because I'm like I can't. I don't know what you got going on. <laughs> right, and you know it's crazy too. Women who um, date niggas who got roommates. Mm-hmm. I think that's horrible oh, when no, you're a grown woman. Either. Yeah, because I, I think it's horrible, too. For one, I'm like, I'm not on welfare, and I have children. You know what I mean? So if you, and I don't have a roommate. So if you don't at least have that, you know what I mean? You can't at least provide for yourself. What do I look like giving you me? <laughs> yeah, because you have a nigga house. It's just a you world out here. Yeah, you have a nigga's house, and you can't fuck, you can't scream and be emotional. Or if you do, as soon as the nigga runs to the store, the nigga in the other room make a side joke or trying to make a pass to hit it. And that's uncomfortable. Like, I would never, I was a female, no disrespect to the niggas who do have roommates. I just had to throw everybody in the bus. I would never give a nigga no pussy if he had. He brought me to his place and he had a roommate. Matter of fact, I want women yeah. to start not fucking and to a nigga take you out of state. Like, if I was a female, I'll give a nigga some head. I'll jack you. I'll play with your balls in the car. But, nigga, you ain't getting no pussy until you take me to Turks and Caicos, nigga. You want some pussy, okay. nigga? I need, okay. you, I need to be a Turks and Caicos. Okay, you go, you're doing too much. Because, first of all, do you even have a passport? Let's start there. That's right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Right, <laughs> like, right. Do you even have a passport? But because see, a lot of times they don't. But that's what the motivation is. See, your pussy is so good that you make a nigga <laughs> buckle down and go get that motherfucker passport. You know? Mm-hmm. You got to use psychology. Like, nigga, I want, you know what, baby? But, honey, shit, I went got my motherfucker passport. We going to Turks and Caicos. <laughs> <laughs> really? We going to Turks and Caicos? Baby. <laughs> we going to motherfucking Turks and Caicos. Now you start shaving the pussy, eating your pineapples and shit. <laughs> You'll get that big laser. You talking about shaving, so you get a laser, get it waxed, baby. <laughs> you know, waxed and, and pineapples and, <laughs> and pears and shit. All kind of shit ready for this nigga. And now you're happy. So that's what women got to do. They got to that goes and motivate a nigga to take it to another level. Nigga, don't be taking me to Chicago. 
are you saying like after? So all of this is after the last child leaves? Because my thing is, like I say, for a guy, like you can have nobody's a hundred percent. So there has to be some type of pick a struggle type of thing. And if my thing is kids and body image, like do I even qualify to be the woman that he wants to take? You know what I mean? Right, but like, if you don't talk in that phone, the, I'm gonna that hit you in the head. Man. Oh, I'm sorry. I got my my blue shoes on. Maybe I should take. Yeah, that you off. gotta take that off. Right? I knew it was some reason why we could. I can't really hear you. Is that better? Oh, much better, hon. I said a crack, it's a much crack better. in your head. <laughs> yeah, we doing the show. I can't have you on the Bluetooth. So now say that again. As far as like taking the struggle between, you know, if if it's, if I'm the one with, if I'm telling the guy like you can't like not have good sex and be broke, if my struggle is having kids and body image issues, like, am I the one that even qualifies for a quality man to want to take me on a vacation, or is it that I need to wait until this last child leaves out? Because that will be 12 years. Okay. Yeah, and here, see, it's so many things in life when you become an adult, right? Mm-hmm. Being grown is life. Well, not being grown, life is scary. 12 years, you may not even make it. I mean, you may be dead in 12 years, right? Oh, my God. No, just, just, <laughs> just keep it at 100. You can be dead in 12 years. Um, you may never find a good man. You, Your kids may never move out. All we know was for sure is today and maybe tomorrow, right? So all this information that I've given you, you got to roll the dice and do what you think is good for now. Mm-hmm. Because tomorrow is not promised to nobody. And that's the thing. Like, you can sit and wait. I, I suggest date more. Get your, get your stuff with your, with your, your you know, your, 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 your stomach and your butt, what you want, so you can have that confidence. Mm-hmm. Date a little okay. bit more. Tell guys that you're not looking for nothing serious until you find what you want. Mm-hmm. But make sure the guy doesn't have no jealousy concerns. He's not insecure. Make sure you wear a condom. Well, he makes sure that person right. wears a condom because when you don't want to walk around here with stink pussy. To oh, you don't want to get cervical cancer because see what women don't right. understand they go get these tests done like they start they put these stuff mm-hmm. and they go to the doctor and the doctor gives mm-hmm. something but you already gave it to the dude that you fuck and you're not telling him that your pussy stank right but mm-hmm. um, so you go get yourself straight then you go back to this guy or another guy and they give you the same thing over and over and what women are not understanding is that Mm -hmm. all that bacteria stuff leads to cervical Mm -hmm. cancer. Oh, yeah. See, people forget about that. That HPV. Yeah, they're worried about HIV, but you need to worry about the HPV. Yeah, you get get cervical Mm -hmm. cancer. And and, and it just, because women's bodies are just so delicate and made like a Ferrari, like a Rolls Royce. You know, pussy's made like Mm -hmm. a Rolls Royce, a Bentley. Like, it's just, it's delicate. Right. You just can't. You can't drive out. You can't work that motherfucker like it's a Toyota Camry. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. So that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, it's more to a hoe face than just being a hoe. You got <laughs> to be a good hoe. But, yeah. Say that one more time. <laughs> I said it's more to being a hoe than just, you know, going out here and doing that. You gotta yeah, and I use the term hoe. <laughs> I use the term hoe because it sounds funny. But really, it's just mm-hmm. to take a more uh, sophisticated approach. It's just dating. That's all. Yeah. You want to date and try to date quality people. Like I know all the clubs that you have there in in, in Michigan, and you can find a good guy. But let's like think about it. Most of the guys got somebody already. Most of the right, guys. Right, quality men. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even the bums. But I don't right even there. think that they're quality because I I find a lot of married men hitting on me or men with in relationships and yeah. And I'm like, if you were a good man, you know, you wouldn't be doing that to your woman. And I, I turn that down because I don't want that kind of karma. But. Right, right. It's true. And it's yeah. good that you like that, but um, it's a cold game out here in the world of dating, honey. Really, ain't getting me nowhere. 
<laughs> I wish I could just turn that ceiling box off. So the 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 need, the companionship, all of that, like the right. Need to be catered to all you know. The, I mean, I buy myself flowers. I do these things for myself, but it's different when a man does it for you and treats right. you like a woman, you know. And then I'm like. I was married, now I'm divorced, I got these kids, you know, I'm trying mm-hmm. to do my best, but... So why, what happened with the divorce? Okay. What happened? Well, I tried to work it out. We went to marriage counseling, but he oh, ended definitely. up getting on some type of uh, drugs and... and oh, he did? Like, excessively, yes. And then he ended okay. up becoming abusive to the point where I just said, well... I, I he's couldn't better now? Anymore. No, I don't know. what He's, he's a deadbeat now, so... You know, I wish you the best, but no. Yeah, God. Now, y'all was together how many years? Seven. And so when did all this start taking place, or he was he hiding it from you? I don't know if he was, I don't think he was hiding it from me because if he got so bizarre to the point where he would attack me in the middle of the night and he wouldn't remember the next Whoa. day. Whoa. So, mental di- mental yeah, disease. So, yeah, so my fear was him attacking the children or, you know, doing something to the children. Because it, it really wasn't even about me at that point. He had broke me down so bad, you know. Ain't nobody going to ever want you, you and them kids, you know, kind of thing. And yeah, that's why I, most niggas say that shit. Yeah. I don't know why men do that. <laughs> Yeah. I really don't know. I'm like, bitch, you know, you know what? After I didn't this is myself from him, I could see it clearer, you know, that he was it was him that was trying to project that on me, but yeah. Yeah, it's a cold game out there. I you know, I tell my daughters about try to stay single as long as possible because once you start dating, that's when problems occur. Mhm. Once you start dating, once you start dating, you're breaking in somebody else's garbage, huh? Yeah, it's, it's like. Okay, so let me ask you this. So, how do you stay? Okay, I'm in this situation. It is what it is. Uh-huh. How do I just be happy single? Just, you know, forget it. This is what it is. This is where I'm at. And just live that life. Right, and that's cool. So, if you do that, you just date. You take, you try to take mm-hmm. trips with your girlfriend. You try to d- find a guy who got a few dollars, and you tell him like, "Listen, mm-hmm. you know, I don't really want anything, but you want to go on a trip, and you know, and if he asks you to pay for a ticket, then you tell him, well, this trip's not for you. Like, we could go half, we could go half on the hotel right. and everything like that. But you want to date a guy that got a few dollars. Now, mm-hmm. let's say you can't meet that guy, then you start taking trips on yourself." And then when you go out of town, hopefully you meet somebody who ain't crazy. You meet somebody mm-hmm. at the hotel. You meet somebody at one of the restaurants. So you go on those, the, um, the radio cruises with, um, what's the guys on the radio and all that? It's amazing. I'm in the business and I don't even oh, know. I don't know. That's a good idea though. Cause I've yeah, been traveling alone a- now, but I have never done like a single cruise or something. Yeah. You got to go do that shit, honey. Are you kidding me? I guarantee you find some nice guys <laughs> if you do that. But if you mm-hmm. stay right there in Michigan, you're going to get the same yeah. results every time. Yeah. And nine times out of ten, the last person you fuck knows some, know the other guy. And you want to walk mm-hmm. in the club and they just know, they could just look at each other and know, yeah, I hit that too. Oh, no. Nah. You know, you don't want that. That's why you got to take I forgot. I wish I could think of the people's names now. Of these cruises, they um, Tom Joyner, the Tom Joyner cruise. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta got you gotta start going to stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and going online and seeing who's throwing something nice in Jamaica, seeing who's throwing stuff in the Fiji Islands, the Cayman Islands. There's, there's always a lot of stuff going on because I do shows for most of these people. I can't remember offhand because my ass is busy. And once I'm done with mm-hmm. something, I keep it moving. <laughs> but yeah, you got to do, you have to do the type of things, right? Okay. Yeah. That yeah makes you sense. have to do that. But definitely invest in you. Take care mm-hmm. of yourself. Keep your teeth. Don't lose no teeth. Don't have a tooth missing. Oh, my. Nah. You know, keep your hair looking nice. Keep smelling good. And if you mm-hmm. don't want to have sex with somebody, you know, if you like a guy, give a nigga some good head. You know, that nigga just lose his mind. Don't fuck him. 
Like, right? God, <laughs> damn. Like, oh, my God. Right. You know, like, damn. It turned into a soccer. <laughs> right. To make a long story short, I would say get your little surgery done. Mm-hmm. Take care of yourself. That's very important that you take care of yourself and stay healthy. Mm-hmm. If you do that, you get everything that you want. Okay. And always listen to my podcast, the TK Kirkwood Show, because that ain't no like podcast, you know really. <laughs> my podcast is, you know, there's a, a lot of great podcasts out there, but ain't nobody say, saying it the way I'm saying it. No, and to be able to actually talk to the people who really listen, I think that's important. So, I mean, I didn't think it would go in this direction, I, you know, but I appreciate it, so... Yes, honey. Now, you got my direct number. Feel free to call me anytime and all that good stuff. And I wish you the best on this journey. But like I said, just stop taking them trips, honey. Stop taking them trips. Oh, and even yeah. if you do find the right guy, right, promise mm-hmm. me that you won't let a nigga move in with you. Mm-mm. Okay. Okay? I'm done that. I'm not doing you know, that. Yeah, don't let no nigga move in with you. If you meet a guy, he would come in your house and you see a suitcase, so he could take a few things out the bag. You know what? That feels that so time. suffocating to me. I just feel like I'm still slightly like, oof, I can't. Like, I feel that issue too. But it's like, I will find a guy who's like, oh, you want to be in a relationship? And I start feeling suffocated. Like, I'm about to choke. <laughs> right. Like, see, no. so, see, now you're saying it's good that you're saying that because now you're hearing who you are. So mm-hmm. don't even try to go that way. Just have fun and see mm-hmm. where it goes. Like I said, you really, okay. to me, I don't really think that you'll really have what you really want until your kids are truly grown. That way okay. you can come and go the way you want. If you want to go stay a week over somebody's house or go out of state for two weeks, you ain't got to worry about no damn kids. Mm-hmm. And that's what I mean. Okay. So just go in different social circles, travel more. Yep. Do me. Yeah, I'll do you. And stop like dating in Michigan. Out. Yeah, stop, stop, stop dating, dating in Michigan. Because Michigan. you're going to repeat the same thing over and over, over and over. The same, like a revolving door. Same what scenario. You know, you eat, fuck, and mm-hmm. ain't nobody taking you nowhere. Ain't nobody planning no trips. I'm just being real. I mean, I do go on dates. I just don't, it just doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, I, I, I know. But you're dating in Michigan. What I mean by that is everybody you yeah. dating is in, the, <laughs> is in the same area. Anything is in the mm-hmm. state of Michigan is the same area. Mm-hmm. And that's what I mean. Yeah. And, you, you, and you're already used to certain type of men, you know, mm-hmm. just that, you know, Certain swag and. What do you think about the San Francisco area? My brother stayed out there. I was thinking about like the San Mateo area. Yeah, I thought that was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, San Mateo, um, Marin County, um, Santa mm-hmm. Rosa, uh, all those areas. Now, do they have like the nightlife? I was just up there too. Cause I don't really go out, you know. I don't really go out. Mm-hmm. I, I go to events, but I'm quite sure. I just think when you go out there. Just go out there a couple times and see what happens. And if you like that, then you make that move. Okay. Yeah, just get just don't yeah. go somewhere and assume you got to go there a couple times. No, I go I go there once a year, but I mean it's always like I go to the beaches or horseback ride, and I don't be doing no club life either. So yeah, but go, I, I mean next time you go, that. go. I mean even you can be somebody at the beach and horseback riding too. You know. It's, it's no telling mm-hmm. where you're going to meet somebody at. Yeah. Yeah, there's no telling where you're going to meet shit. You can be somebody in motherfucking Walmart. <laughs> right. You can be somebody at the red light. Yeah, I've done that <laughs> in my time. I've met people at red light, Walmart, <laughs> everything. You name it. I, I, I've experienced yeah. it. I definitely have. Yeah. Yep, so I love you, darling. And as a as a friend... <laughs> I wish you the best to, and all that good stuff and call me anytime and I'm looking forward to it and I'm not, not just looking forward to it. I hope that everything works out for you. All right. But follow Thank that you. plan. I'll give you an update. <laughs> yeah. Follow okay. that plan though. I guarantee you, you have different results. All right. I got it. Okay. 
Take care of yourself, Doc. You're welcome, Doc. Mm-hmm. So to the fans around the country, from Japan to Oakland, California, to Miami Beach, to New York City, to Las Vegas, Nevada, may your pain be shared pain. And if you've got problems, make sure you hit me on my DM at the TK, at TK underscore Kirkland. Tell me your situation. Give me time to hit you back. And we take it from there. May God bless you. And may your pain be champagne again. T to the motherfucking K. This episode of the TK Kirkland Show was produced by Chris Thomas, executively produced by Charlemagne the God. This is an official Loudspeakers Network production.